I am Cat Blitz, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review over this Skylar Bible. You guys, this is one of my, I would say my all-time favorite leathers from Skylar. I like the mahogany um, calfskin way better than I do their goat skin. There's just something so special about this leather. Oh, I wish all of my Bibles were wrapped in this leather. But it is exclusively only for Skylar. So they have all claims just for this one leather. So super, super excited to get in here and share. So we do have a clamshell box. This is where you can purchase the Skylar Bibles from. This is the Cax Caxton, what I'm going to be showing you. It also would be cool to see different colors because right now they only have the brown but to see like a mahogany in like black or even purple you know how I love purple Bibles that would be something cool but just something for you all to think about all right so right here let me give you a close view you let you see the highs the lows let alone the grain work you all look at the grain pattern in every single Bible that I have that it has mahogany capskin, it is all different. Every single one of them have their own special unique pattern. This will have five raised hubs. This is my first premium leather NLT Bible. So I'm super, super excited to have it in my collection. Next will be the NIV. Now look at the back. This is some, a lot of, a lot of grain work. It's completely different from the front. I don't know if there's a way for me to show you both of them. So you can see. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my, my, my. Look at the grain work. And you can literally feel it. It's not something that's just um, like a picture to where it looks like it's just stamped on. It's literally these. This is actual the grain work so beautiful it's a good thick piece of leather it's smooth oh love it I can't give more praises about it all right so we do have the stamping on the um, front of the Bible like Skylar does now this will be my first um, stamp that's not really super pronounced or deep so that will happen. It all depends on like the thickness of the leather when it goes through the, like the stamping press. So there's nothing wrong with it. So don't return it if it happens to you. It just that's just how it came out. It's uniquely made just for you. All right, we have stitching around the perimeter of the Bible. We have a little. It's not really a semi app, but kind of a little semi app. It is, of course, my sewn. We have brown matching head and tail bands with three Ferris, Ferris for Berg ribbons, gold gilding, and red, so it would be art gilt. So we have, there it is. Love, love, love their gilding. Open it up. We have the gold foiling, which I really, really, really love this gold foiling. It is a edge line Bible. So when you're opening up the Bible, you kind of will see this hump right here. That's because of the edge line. Over time, it will loosen up. The binding itself will loosen up, so it will start to lay flatter with more use. So you just got to use your Bibles, you guys. All right, so we got just this. Um, it's not really a cardstock page because it's the edge line, so do not tear these apart. Leave them just as it is. This is the cardstock, I guess, title page, I could say. Here is their presentation page. 1 Peter 1, 24 and 25. Love, 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 love that. I do like how it's presented to you by and on the occasion of, of course, the date. Marriages, births, and adoptions. And then we have deaths. 
Now we have the copyright page. This is a Tyndale block, but it is printed and bounded uh, with by the Neverlands, Royal Youngblood. All right, I am reading my Bible cover, cover to cover using this Bible. So I got it on the 20th. I will be filling out the presentation page, but I wanted to wait until I did this review. So every time I finish a book, I will go ahead and write down the date that I did it. So I just left this here so I could show you all. I will put it actually on the Bible when I get done with this review. <laughs> all right. So we have that. Let me get you on closer. We have the alphabetical order and a note to the reader. This is the introduction to the NLT translation. Highly recommend you all going through and reading this. Whatever Bible you have, it should have a little um, introduction, a page. This is quite a few different pages of the, your translation. Read over how your translation became to be. It's really helpful information. Okay, this is the team. Old Testament. And we're hopping into the Bible. So right here, you can tell it is a single column format. We have outer column references. So as we're reading the Word of God, the only thing that you're going to get is the verse numbers. We're not going to have um, like the letter A, B, or numbers for the footnotes down below. None of that, none of that is in this Bible. How you will know if your that one particular verse will have a verse number or a reference to a verse, it will be out here. So you could tell, okay, verse one, two, and three, all the way to four, they have like references to check out. But you're not going to get any kind of distraction throughout the Bible. I love that. And whenever you have a footnote, you get these little stars. So whenever you see the star, you come down here and you get the footnote. So the text is completely clean. You're not getting distracted by, oh, well, what does the letter, you know, um, for a reference, what does the letter A mean? Well, let me see the reference over here. You don't got any of that. It's literally just the Word of God. Now, this is in an 8.75, so it's the same size as a PSQ. Personally, myself, I like it. I like it when it's a bit smaller because I can read it a little bit quicker. The bigger the font, the longer it takes for me just to get through it. Take you off the tripod so you can get a closer look at it. But if you were going to mark in it, you totally could. This is on 28 GSM paper. It is a line match. And I haven't had any problems. Like I only had it for a couple of days, but I've had it in different kind of lighting and I haven't had no kind of problem problems from any kind of like um, bleed through from the next page. So it is so beautiful. And I am not used to a single column format. I am a fan of the two column. This single column format, I like it when there's not so many words going across the page. The size of this Bible, you guys, it is a chunky monkey and it's perfect. The height and like the width of it. Oh, it is. It's literally the perfect size. I wish there were more Bibles this size. The paper is so soft. Now this is a Tyndale um, text block. I did notice on a couple of reviews, other reviewers mentioning that it was a Tyndale text block. And I, when I first heard that, I thought, okay, because this does belong to Tyndale, will it still have the Skylar quality? Like, are we only paying the Skylar quality for the cover? Will the paper also be the same? And it is. 
it literally is it's just their text block print is printed on like let's just say Skylar paper but it's the Neverlands um, like paper their design and all that so love it um, this is not a red letter it is black letter so all of you who enjoy the black letter it is throughout the whole Bible let's get back here towards the back perfect oh now it's just this one page alright now back here is pretty cool it says NLT diction and concordance and it is it's a pretty good size concordance and dictionary you all look at that I like it when it has a dictionary and the concordance because it just gives you more information about what you're reading and then of course you can find verses over it love it all right so we do have that and then we have bible paper i mean maps on bible paper i was going to say maps first but <laughs> we have maps on actual bible paper I kind of like it when it's on cardstock, especially for a thick Bible like this. Let me show you the maps real quick. They're printed very, very nicely. The colors are like the normal colors. I didn't count exactly how many, but these are Tyndale maps. Shows you right down here. So they're not the normal Skylar maps that you would see in their Bible. These are this is from Tyndale but like right here when they're on Bible paper it starts to wrinkle towards the back because it needs support so if they were on cardstock it's more support for this chunky monkey I wish it would have had lined paper I like lined paper in the back but we have a couple of cardstock papers I think just two of them no nope, we have three of them Skylar Pledge and then I keep my normal in my Bible. All right. So hopefully this was helpful for you all. If you are interested or have been pondering whether or not to purchase a Caxton, Caxton Bible. <laughs> that name still gets me. Um, I did quickly want to show you, in case you haven't caught my last video, sharing um, the Skylar Traveras and the Caxton together because these are both single column formats. Um, there is the same same kind of layout but they are very very different. So let me go show you because this is not even 15 minutes yet so I'll show you a little bit more for those of you who stuck around to the end. Thank you. You get a little goodie back here I'm trying to get to the very first one. I promise you, the pages are not hard to turn. I'm just trying to be super careful, and I don't want to mess up anything. All right. I'm, like, prone to, like, wrinkling my pages. All right, so check this out. Let me back up right here. I want to show you both of them. Okay, so the Traveras, it is verse by verse, unlike the Caxton. So we get, like, verse 1, so it's just... You get the verses sprinkled and they are super tiny they're not going to like be really pronounced again it's because it's supposed to be like a reader this is just a bible that you just pick up um you read and you just get like the word of god they're trying to lessen the distraction the same goal for this one now it is kind of like a verse by verse so when it's not so when there's two verses in one you will get the two numbers on the same sentence so for verse 3 will be right here and the starting of verse 4 so you will see that but for the most part it is verse by verse as you can tell it's extremely readable there's no references anywhere in the Bible there is no footnotes there's nothing distracting you from it now this one is in a 10 
point font, so it is a bigger size. I don't know if that matters. This is the same size as the PSQ, so if you have the PSQ, don't think that it's going to be smaller than that. It's literally the same size. It's just a bigger Bible. This is this one over here, the Traveras, is darker, more bolder. Not so bold that it will strain your eyes, but it does make it heavier. For me personally, I know I notice it does make it a bit heavier, like like my eyes get tired a little bit more. I haven't had any problems. You've seen I've read four books in the past couple of days, and I could just keep on reading. My eyes don't get strained; they don't get watery or anything. I cannot read that many Bibles for or that many books from this one. Consistency consistently. I do love their drop caps. This is also a black letter. So yeah, if you did want just a reader with the references, I would recommend um, the Caxton. It is only only in the NLT. The Traveras comes in ESV or the KJV. So you have to have to decide whether the um, references is really important to you or not. If it's not, I recommend the Traveras. Um, yeah, that's really the main difference is the boldness and the references. But they're both very, very beautiful readers and definitely worth every penny. All right, so if you do have any questions for me, leave them for me in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. Let me do sh go, show it. Go ahead and show you. I've been saying this one is like the PSQ. So let me show you the PSQ. I have it right here. All right. So same size. This one is just up a little bit closer to me. So that's why it looks like, oh, it's a little bit bigger. But it, it's not. It's literally the same size. All right. Okay. I'll let it end here. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.